the the conclusion of thematic analysis is uh, the point where you develop themes. You develop themes that uh, tell the story of our data. That's how I like to talk about it. So what are these themes? So what are the themes in the first place? Themes are basically like narrative blocks. You can think of them as chapters. I'll be using this this analogy to books quite a few times in this video, but they are, you can it helps to think of them as basically chapters. So these general topics, uh, these general chapters in a book that you present to your audience, and they uh, generally tell them what the story is, what the story of your data is. So if you think about themes as your chapters, then within these chapters is all your description of the theme. It helps to understand, it helps our understanding of thematic analysis. So if a theme is our block, uh, our unit of uh, final uh, final findings then uh, and if you think about it as a chapter then within the chapter is is basically your section where you describe the theme and your results so themes are these general general topics occurring in our data which help us uh, answer the research questions because that's obviously the goal so you want to talk about your answers to the research questions and your tools for communicating these answers answers will be your themes. But now, how do we even get to these themes? That's the main question. You cannot just look at all your data and say, these are my themes. You can't do that because the whole process needs to be much more structured, much more rigorous, because otherwise it's just not convincing. Or uh, to use uh, more methodological and more academic terms, it's not valid. It's not valid, it's not credible, because you can't be basically can't be trusted if you just pick the themes or what you think are the, the key things discussed in your in your study you can't be trusted because of course our brains they can't comprehend all that amount of information in our data so what do we need to do to demonstrate these themes or develop these themes but in a way that's actually convincing and in a way that's credible and shows that it's not uh, just our assumptions not our expectations but actually something that's they're in the data, we have to first break that data down into pieces that are more manageable. We have to somehow sort and organize that data. And this is where we need coding. Coding is how it all starts. And codes are essentially little tags, tags, uh, small co uh, concepts or units that you assign uh, the meanings that you assign to certain things that you're reading. So like I said, it really helps to think of them as tags and assigning uh, tags, tagging our data as you read that data. I often talk about codes as little summaries, little descriptions. So we want to read through our data and just describe everything that we're reading, except that not just rewrite it again, but actually use uh, shorter little terms and concepts, like I said, little tags. So we are uh, reducing the amount of the data and at the same time, we're building our understanding of what there is in that data. 